What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Legends Arceus news update video. Now in this video, we're going to be discussing information about shiny Pokemon, what Pokemon is shiny lock, what Pokemon is not. Do note all of this is coming from a data mine that is going on right now. And a lot of the stuff here isn't exactly a hundred percent i'm gonna be going over why is that in a few but all of this information is coming from the game's code but again i'm gonna be going over why it may not be a hundred percent as we go over each bit of information in today's video so without further ado let's jump in this is coming from central leaks over on twitter i'm gonna have a link to their Twitter account in the description of this video as well as the pin comment of this video as well so you guys could jump in and check it out for yourself. I'm getting this from Central Leaks but Central Leaks gets his data mine information from what I am aware of from a ton of other data miners and kind of compiles the information and then posts it up on Twitter. So again, this is coming from a ton of data miners that are basically reporting their findings and their findings are coming to the same kind of quote unquote, same information. And then Central Leaks is posting it here. Let's jump in. It says information about shiny locks. Arceus, Dialga, Palkia. I mean, it should go without saying spoilers. If you don't know who's in the game, I mean, the games are out, but again, spoiler warning, obviously. I should have said that first, but Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina are shiny locked, meaning that you cannot shiny hunt any of those story legendaries in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Starters you will see from the Professor are shiny locked, so you cannot start the game with a shiny Pokemon. Mythicals legendaries are not shiny locked so there are mythicals in the game we're going to go over each of them as well as legendary pokemon that are in the game that you can shiny hunt but do note you cannot shiny hunt dialga and palkia and garatina and arceus you cannot shiny hunt those but there are other legendaries in the game that you can shiny hunt static pokemon from quest are shiny locked like alolan vulpix now there is a quest in the game that grants you a opportunity to catch this alone Vulpix. And I think you do have to catch the Vulpix in order to complete the quest. But this alone Vulpix is shiny locked. So you cannot shiny hunt this. Unknown are in the game and they are have a quote unquote side quest. Unknown are shiny locked as well now unknown are known to be in the game they have a whole fetch quest where you have to find them out in the overworld just laying about in hidden ways kind of like korok seeds but kind of not you just got to throw pokeballs at them when you do see them out in the wild they will never be shiny no matter what they just again out in the world waiting to be captured and i believe you get a quest that will tell you about them and explain them and you have to go out and actually capture them now the shiny rates seems to be the about the same one in 4096 i'm not too sure if that's the same <laughs> as let's go pikachu or let's go eevee or any other pokemon game i really don't keep up with the shiny odds as far as what the rates are however you do get the shiny charm in the game you get it after reaching level 10 for all pokemon inside of pokemon legends arceus now from what i'm hearing in order to get level 10 with all pokemon as far as pokedex completion is concerned you either gotta catch one of that pokemon and raise it to a certain level where you learn everything that it is to know about the Pokemon for the Pokedex, or you could catch multiple of the same Pokemon, just like in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, where you capture a multiple of them and it fills up a knowledge bar where it kind of sees that because you caught multiple, you're learning more about that particular species of Pokemon. So you could go either way. You could go the catching route by catching tons of the same species or you could just add that pokemon to your team and have it grow and learn a couple of moves and stuff like that that will also increase the research level for that pokemon inside of the pokedex so you need to do that for all pokemon 
in order to get the shiny charm and i think that's pretty cool usually we just have to catch all the pokemon now we have to capture them and actually use them or catch a multiple of that same one i'm down for the grind i'm down for the long haul with pokemon legends arceus and i think this is pretty cool i'm definitely going to be hunting for this shiny charm especially with shinies being in the overworld i definitely want to increase my odds in seeing them out and about it says when you catch the starters for the professor at the beginning of the game they can be shiny however but when you receive them they won't be meaning there's a encounter in the game at the very beginning where you see the starters and you have to catch them with the professor however they can be shiny during that encounter when the professor gives you the pokemon they will not be the same shiny one that you caught it will be a completely non-shiny version of the starter which is super unfortunate because i could i could see it now people seeing us the shiny starter catching a shiny starter for the professor and then not being able to use that shiny starter <laughs> I can see it now, the rage in people's eyes. Hell, because if it happens to me, I'm going to be tight too. It says, to clarify further about mythicals and legendaries, Genies, Cresselia, Heatran, Lake Trio, Manaphy, Fioni, Darkrai, Shaman can all be shiny. So you can shiny hunt all of these legendary Pokemon that are in the game. That's, again, the Genies, Cresselia, Heatran, Lake Trio, Manipi, Fioni, Darkrai, Shaman can all be shiny. He says there's conflicting reports about Regigigas. And the reason why there's conflicting reports is because Regigigas, from what I'm hearing, is a static encounter. And that would make him just like a low Vulpix unable to be shiny however unlike on low Vulpix, this isn't tied to a quest which is, is is having a lot of people scratch their head because they know reggie gigas is in the game they're encountering reggie gigas there's a little way that you have to actually get the reggie gigas that makes it a a static encounter but again it it, it does fall in the territory of these other legendaries that we just covered but again not really because it's a static encounter so there's contradicting reports about it because in the game's code shiny's there there's a chance for it to be shiny however because it's a static encounter it isn't a chance for it to be shiny if that makes any sense this is where i was talking about in the beginning of, my, of the video where the information is kind of all over the place right now and until we get concrete proof of someone actually shiny hunting this and potentially popping a shiny reggie gigas i must say is shiny lock but again I could be wrong. Now that's going to be it for all the shiny information that we're going to go over in today's video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about all of the shiny locks and all the non shiny locks in this game. It goes without saying that all other Pokemon that you can find in the wild can be shiny hunted, including alpha Pokemon and noble pokemon so that's pretty cool you might run into one of those let me know what you think about that in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have this conversation continue in the comment section below if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking pokemon i'm gonna have a ton of pokemon legends arceus content here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one